Welcome to Antenna by Panda. Today I will be showing you how to upgrade the firmware of the Nano BNA. By default it came with the firmware that scans from 50 kilohertz to 900 megahertz. So what we would like to do is to use the firmware for the antenna analyzer which has four tracks available in it so that our fonts will be bigger so what we need to do is to put the device in DFU mode before we can load the program and once we done that then the device, the nano BNA is ready for pro programming or uploading the firmware but before we can put the device on DFU mode we need to short the two pins it's marked as BDD and boot on the side of the nano as you can see here I put two binding posts on the nano BNA port you can also use a tweezer just to short those pin and the nano BNA will display a white screen so when it's on white screen then it's already in DFU mode. Make sure that you connect the USB cable on your computer and plug it on the USB port of the Nano. Then you can short the pin on the boot and BDD por uh, port. and turn off the nano once you turn it on it will be in DFU mode as you can see it has the white screen display our next step now is to load the firmware on our nano BNA device but first we need to make sure that we have the files that we need so first is the softwares for loading the DFU file which is this one it will install the program that we need to use it's the DFUSE demo don't worry about the demo part it will still work as long as we make sure that the drivers are installed or loaded properly on our computers the drivers is located on the Nano BNA CDC ACM or if you don't have that you can download the Zadig folder from the internet. You can just use Google to browse the software and download these drivers. Next is we need the firmware to load. So the firmware that we want is the Nano VNA 900 AA, which is the Nano VNA 50 kilohertz to 900 megahertz firmware that has two tracks which is suitable for antenna analyzer mode the default a has four tracks which has which is the 900 ch so we would like to load the nano vna 900 antenna analyzer mode so but first we make sure that we loaded the drivers correctly in this case we need to check on the device manager and we have to drill down on the USB serial bus controllers as we can see here the driver is not yet loaded but in this case I already installed the driver so what we just need to do is to refresh the device just turn off the nano BNA and make sure that you are in DFU mode and the uh, USB connector is connected properly on your U laptop or computer and the uh, nano VNA device so just turn it on make sure it's in DFU mode as we can see here our screen have refresh and the drivers now loaded on the STM device 
under the universal serial vice controller so this is the driver let's check the software now as we can see the software had seen the device it's now on the drop down and already detected so what we need to do now is to load the DFU file in this case we want to use the nano VNA 900 AA so just click on open and once the file is loaded correctly the software will display the notification just click on verify after download so that once we click on upgrade and the software is properly loaded on the nano VNA it will verify if uh, the file has no problem so what we need to do next is to just click on upgrade so it will prompt us that the device is plugged in DFU mode it cannot detect the file if this is correct so just click on continue and this will load the software and the program will proceed in programming mode erasing the files and downloading the firmware on our nano VNA so as we can see it's erasing now it's downloading once that is complete then we can turn off the device and the software is already loaded what we need to do is just recalibrate the device and it's ready for use so we just have loaded the firmware on the nano BNA by default it has four tracks so I I'm going to remove the jumper and turn off the device and let's see so now let's turn it on so as we can see the fonts are now bigger on the nano BNA it has only two tracks available to us so just click on display and check the trace as we can see here we have only two tracks available trace 0 and trace 1 by default it has four tracks so we are successful in loading the firmware for the nano BNA what we need to do now is just to calibrate the nano VNA again and it's ready for use so that's it that's how you load the firmware for the nano VNA device thank you for watching